The inauguration of the Tata Airbus C-295 project in Vadodara marks a historic moment for Bharat's aerospace sector. The inauguration of the Tata Airbus C-295 project in Vadodara marks a historic moment for our sector, representing the first instance of a military aircraft being manufactured by a private company on Indian soil. The milestone embodies the spirit of Atmanir Bharata that the Make in India initiative champions. The plant in Vadodara is similar to Airbus's facility in Seville. The Vadodara plant is equipped to, pro to produce up to 12 aircraft annually and of the 40 aircraft to be made in India, the first C-295 will roll out of Vadodara facility in September 2026 and the remaining 39 by August 2031. Now, launching the facility will also make Bharat the 12th country with the capacity to manufacture such aircraft. The final assembly line of C-295 is set to be a game changer. The C-295 has a range of 5,000 kilometers and 11 hours of endurance. It can carry out multi-role operations under all weather conditions and the C-295 295 is known to be a superior aircraft used for tactical transport of up to 71 troops or 50 paratroopers. It is capable of logistic operations to locations that are not accessible to current heavier aircraft. The C-295 has a rear ramp door for quick reaction and paradropping of troops and cargo. The project will directly create over 3,000 jobs at various sites and support more than 15,000 indirect jobs across the supply chain. The Tata Airbus C-295 project in Vadodara is more than just an aerospace assembly line. It represents a paradigm shift in Bharat's defence manufacturing landscape. Bharat mein defence manufacturing ecosystem nahi uchai ya chura ha. Tab to koi ye kalpuna bhi nahi kar paata tha ki Bharat mein इतने बड़े पैमाने पर डिफेंस मैन्युफैक्चरिंग हो सकती है बीते दशक में देश ने ऐसे अनेक फैसले लिए जिससे भारत में एक वाइब्रेंट डिफेंस इंडस्ट्री का विकास हुआ हमने डिफेंस मैन्युफैक्चरिंग में प्राइवेट सेक्टर की भागीदारी को विस्तार दिया डीआरडीओ और एच को सशक्त किया यूपी और तमिलनाडु में दो बड़े डिफेंस कॉरिडोर बनाए ऐसे अनेक निर्णयों ने डिफेंस सेक्टर को नई ऊर्जा से भर दिया The complex marks an emblematic moment in PM Modi's visionary agenda for an Atmanirbhar Bharat. Over the past decade, Bharat has transformed from a defence importer to an exporter with a rising presence in the global arms industry. In 2019, the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute ranked Bharat among the top 25 arms exporters worldwide for the first time, placing the country at 23rd position. Bharat's goals are set higher still, with the country targeting defence exports of 35,000 crore rupees worth by 2025. Bharat's defence budget has seen substantial growth reflecting the nation's investment in modernizing its defense infrastructure. From 2.03 lakh crore in 2013-14, the budget has grown to 5.93 lakh crore in 23-24. Bharat's defense exports have surged from 686 crore in 2013-14 to an impressive 21,083 crore in 23-24. The scope of Bharat's defense exports now extends across over 100 nations, highlighting the quality and reliability of Bharat's made... Uh, Military products, the percentage of defence spending on foreign procurement dropped from 46% in 2018 to uh, 2019 to 36.7% by December 2022. The Defence Acquisition Procedure 2020 introduced a mandate for 50% indigenous content in procurement contracts. This policy includes a new buy global manufacture in India category, encouraging international defence manufacturers to set up production and maintenance facilities within Bharat. Bharat has also established two major defence industrial corridors in Tamil Nadu and Uttar Pradesh, attracting investments of 7,000 crore rupees so far to build an ecosystem that supports indigenous defence production. Now, Bharat's naval capabilities have also seen a remarkable advancement with the INS Vikrant aircraft carrier fully indigenously built, being the largest warship in Bharat's maritime history. The Make in India initiative, launched by Prime Minister Narendra Modi in September 2014, has significantly transformed Bharat's manufacturing landscape. Bharat has rapidly emerged as the second largest mobile exporter in the world. In the fiscal year FY24, Bharat's mobile phone export soared by 40.5%, reaching approximately $15.6 billion. Apple's decision to assemble the entire iPhone 16 series in Bharat marks a significant milestone in the company's strategy to diversify its manufacturing operations. Samsung inaugurated the world's largest mobile fragment 
manufacturing facility in Noida, which will double its capacity from 68 million to 120 million units per year. Bharat is on the brink of semiconductor revolution. Now, the semiconductor Tata Group and Taiwan based Power Chip Semiconductor Manufacturing Corporation, PSMC, at Dholera, with an investment of approximately $11 billion. The US based semiconductor giant Micron has begun construction on $2.75 billion semiconductor plant in Sanand in Gujarat. This facility is expected to create around 5,000 direct and 15,000 indirect jobs. The Indian government envisions the semiconductor industry reaching a market size of approximately $63 billion by 2026 itself. Proud moment for all of us here uh, in Bharat as the Make in India seems to be taking off. We've got to take a short break and when we come back, it's Tamil Nadu. New entry in politics, from real to real. It is Vijay. Is this anti dravidian plaque going to help the DMK further by splitting the anti-incumbent vote? We find out after the break. Stay with us.